the promise to complement President Buhari's environmental reform by the United Nations Secretary General Ban Ki moon during his visit, beginning with the restoration of Ogoni land, has ignited hope in the Niger Delta region. The point that these communities like Kolama, Sangana, Tuambras, Okboma, Odioma, down to Bilabiri, whether to break with the waves that are coming in from the ocean or to do some kind of piling, shoreline protection to stop the encroachment. Wind regimes, high pressure regime, regimes to build up, and when they build up, they transform available moisture into higher altitudes, condense and fall back as rain. There will be vulnerability in terms of food security, because when there is food uh, flooding, you will harvest earlier than you expected to harvest, and you don't have, we won't have food. So we'll be relying on supplies from outside the state. The Niger Delta region, particularly Baeza State, is adversely affected by climate change, manifesting as ocean surge, flooding and extreme weather conditions. If we're unable to capture holistically what the vulnerabilities are as a country and present them to the United Nations, we'll be going there to tell regional stories, and regional stories will not be good enough for us. President Buhari was also invited to join a selected group of 25 world leaders in New York on September 27 to deliberate and agree on a global climate change agreement. Kusipre Charles, AIT News, Yenegua.